Uh, hey guys, Sebastian Scarlet here. I just decided to vlog. It's currently, let me see right now, it's 2.30 a.m. And I've honestly just been stricken with, I guess, this dead feeling and this desire to talk and talk about the world of Let's Playing and things like that. Um, I just finished Nintendo Capri Sun's Final Fantasy X Let's Play and just the ending made me cry like it always did and then I started you know because lately I've just been frustrated because I haven't been able to find any um videos to watch I've just been I guess my soul has been trying to reach out to going back and watching old Let's Plays mostly Nintendo Capri Sun just because I got back into him recently his older stuff his newer stuff I still have not been able to find that spark that he used to have but I mean I guess I've just been stricken with this emptiness and this desire to talk and I guess it's not so much a desire to talk as it is just frustration. I've been... I just feel like the Let's Play community doesn't have that spark or that satisfying peace anymore in my life. I mean, Let's Playing is still a huge part of my life. I've been, for the past five, six years now, I've just been obsessed with the Let's Play community and I've really, it's just, it's my entertainment, it's what I do with my time, it's what I do with my spare time, it's my references, even when no one else gets them, it's my shout into the abyss, it's, I mean, I started it, I wanted to start it, and I want to continue it, even though, I mean, no one's watching this right now, maybe my friend Alec, he's probably, but I mean, other than that, literally no one is watching, it, and that's okay, I guess I'm doing it because I enjoy it, but I guess at one point I want to build that sort of audience. I just, I want to have, even if it's just 10 people, I want to have those people that I connect with and know that I'm able to consistently entertain. And I'd love to stream and do things like that and just see that chat roll by. That's probably one of my dreams right now, just in college right now. But right now it's this, this depressing because I, after I finished the LP, I couldn't find any more videos to watch. I had, had exhausted any LPs that I wanted to watch over again because I watched that LP three, four times now. And I could not find anything, so I started watching all these videos and I just got more and more depressed and wanted to sleep less and less. And the last video I just watched was Dario, I don't remember the number. He did a whole bunch of Final Fantasy Let's Plays. He said goodbye to the Let's Play community because it helped him through a dark time too. I think it didn't help me through a dark time, but it's just, it's my life. And just knowing that all these LPRs are gone or changed, and Nintendo Capri Sun doesn't have that spark anymore, and never really was all that interested in Chugga Conroy or anybody like that, it just feels like YouTube has become so polarized, and there's no longer, I guess, their standards is what I'm trying to say. Their standards now on YouTube, and it feels... I mean, I'm talking about myself here now. It just feels constricting. Like, obviously I did Undertale. I did the most popular Let's Play game right now. There's no way anyone's ever going to see it. So, I don't have a problem with that. Just, I hope as I continue that I will continue or begin to glean some people from anywhere, any sources. And I'd love to have them around. Oh, dog bark. I guess, I guess that's really it. That sums up everything that I'm feeling right now, and I just, I don't know, I guess I wanted to vlog. Um, I haven't done it in a long time. I think I've only actually done one vlog ever. I don't know, this is strange. This will probably end up being so, a con something that I continue to do, just because I, um, I get lonely at night, and I just have all these thoughts that slip through my fingers, and I'd like to be able to pin them down with words and put them on the internet that sounds perfectly fine maybe share my thoughts with the world and maybe affect a few people I think I like the hood though it's looking pretty good <laughs> I don't wear a hood much anymore because it messes up my hair and I'm all worried about that it's ridiculous <sighs> but I guess that's really it for the evening it just I feel constricted I feel like the let's the community doesn't have that spark or that draw anymore and I hope that comes back but yeah well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Undertale is just about finished. I don't know what I'm going to let's play next. I really need to start thinking about that. I may fill it in with 
a little bit of Minecraft here and there, but actually just today I was looking at a capture card and that would just open up to my entire video game library and that would be really exciting. I have my GameCube with me here. It's obviously a TV, but the GameCube's underneath it. And I could pick up any game I wanted and just play it. Maybe a game I haven't played in ages. I actually, I'm playing through Super Mario Sunshine right now, kind of off and on, just when I'm bored. Like really bored. Like when my hard drive crashed, I was playing the shit out of that game because I didn't have anything else to do. My computer is my life. Um, but yeah, I could pick up any of the games in my library. You could bring the Wii U here and plug it into... Let's see. What, let me look it up what it was real quick. Uh, it's on... It was Elgato Systems Game Capture HD. Obviously, I'm going to buy an HD thing off the bat because watching it, NCS's videos back, they're, they're, the quality is awful, but I don't care about that, but I want to experience on YouTube the full game experience. Even if the game itself is not HD, I want to have the capture in HD so it feels like you could be playing it yourself. And actually watching um watching him play Final Fantasy X really made me want to play it because that is one of the best games of all time easily on my top 10 list along with Catherine and other games I love I love that game I should probably stop shaking my desk with my foot I don't know if this is going to be a series I don't know if I should call this something like Midnight Vlog I already have Midnight Minecraft apparently I could um Gross. I could probably call it something silly, but I'll probably just say midnight thoughts or night thoughts or something like that. Maybe I'll, maybe I could even stream this. I could just make something entertaining and put it on the internet, find some people to watch. <sighs> uh, Ghibli Meister. I don't know if I should say his name. He's he's my friend Alec. That's um Alec wants to start streaming soon, and I'd love to start streaming. The way he described it is we could start streaming, and even if it's just a couple people watching, that's he described it as getting our foot in the door, and I like that term. Just even if we don't have a wide audience or we don't get tons of donations, I don't stop about the donations or anything like that, then he and I could basically build a community around ourselves. And even, like I said, if it's just ten people talking to me and making me feel like I'm entertaining someone. That would satisfy me. That's all I really need. Well, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.